today's video will create a ChatGPT clone. So in the last video, I created a chatbot using Microsoft's Dilo GPT Medium, and that was a basic model that I created. But in the comment section, I got a lot of questions that people were asking me that they wanted to use their own model. Like somebody asked me that they wanted to use a ChatGPT plugin. Somebody was saying something else. And so obviously the questions were being raised and I wanted to answer them in a proper way so I made sure that I'm gonna make a video and answer those questions so today what I will do is I will use the same chatbot but I will change the model and ch replace it with the chat GPT's OpenAI's chat GPT and use their API service that they created I'm gonna create a new token and use that token in the Python file and basically connect to the chat GPT model that OpenAI has granted access to us and then basically send messages to them and get the response and the response will be very detailed you can basically write it uh, ask that ask it to create a python code or a java file or basically write a poem write, do anything write a song or write any rap song that you wanted to make so let's start to make it let's start it and firstly what you need to do is go in the github of the ch uh, binary hood and download this uh, chatbot that I created in the last video. This is the template code that you need. So download the zip folder. And once you're done, come back and this is the chatbot folder that you would have. So open it up in the Visual Studio code or any code editor that you like. So I'm gonna open it up in the uh, Visual Studio code. So this is the file that we're going to work with. And in this video, we're gonna just touch this app.py file. So we're not gonna go in the chat.html file. So in this file, basically what we have is, we have the user response, so uh, sorry, user message that they send. So we will use this value, this text or value, and basically we're sending it in the Ajax property and we're sending it to the app.py file where we got it, where we wanna send it. So we're using get and post request. And so this is only to basically for the user interface part. So we're not gonna to touch this part and you basically anyone can understand this one part. So what I'm going to do is change the app.py file where all of the things are going on, everything on the background is going on. So uh, let's start doing it. So firstly, what we need is you need uh, to download the op OpenAI template code that we need to uh, basically connect to the chat GPT uh, of OpenAI's. So what we're going to do is I've created a template code. So at this uh, URL, and this will be in the description. So what you are going to need is copy the code in here, command C, and come back and create a new file over here, new text file, and just change the language to Python. We're not gonna save it. We're just gonna paste it, and I'm gonna show you what we are going to do with it. So what they're doing in this is they're importing OpenAI and I'll come back to this later because we're going to download OpenAI with pip so don't worry about that if you don't have OpenAI in your uh, uh, laptop download so uh, look at this API so we're gonna populate this with our own API key and for now we're gonna use the chat GPT 3.5 dash turbo and this is a really good model that they have released this is obviously not chat GPT 4 and ChatGPT4 is expensive and it's gonna charge you more money. So, and the tokens are 100 tokens. So we're gonna use 100 tokens. I'll get back to that later. So currently what it does is it says, hello, how are you? This is our message. And then this is the role that we are assigning to our chatbot. We are saying you're a helpful assistant. You can basically change it to like, for example, say you are a software engineer that debugs a code. So you, you're assigning your chatbot a role. So ChatGPT is really powerful and OpenAI has made it really powerful and then you can basically assign roles to your chatbot. And then this will be the message that will be populated over here. And then we'll basically pass in as a parameter in our get OpenAI response. So firstly, we need to create our OpenAI key. So let's go there and create our OpenAI key. So when you come over here, so this is the URL that you need to come on, platform.openai.com. This will be in the description of the video. And if you don't have an OpenAI account, basically create an OpenAI account. And if you have the same, you don't need to worry about 
if the website is looking a different platform because this is the developer's website that they're giving so over here we basically create the keys so you can use your same account that you use in the chat uh, open ai chat gpt and log in and once you log in come on this uh, right personal where it's written personal press on view api keys so currently i have an api key that i created so but i'm going to create a new api key let's say that uh, i'm gonna name it chat bot and let's say and press on create secret key and copy it using this copy and do done and now what i'm going to say, uh, tell you is obviously everyone has their own unique api key so use your own do not copy my api key so use your own create it and basically come here and put, paste it over here and now you have your own api key so now once we are done with that api key i'm also going to show you what you need so this model that you're going to use is over chat gpt 3.5 dash turbo this charges you a little bit money so you need to add your card or your some details so it will charge you around uh let's say uh in a month if you use it like it will charge you less than five dollars so it wouldn't be that much so we're experimenting it with it and we're, i'm going to show you how it looks so obviously i've added the details of my own so i'll show you how it looks so you can get a view so now i'm going to copy this code and come back in my main file and just paste it under this two things so we're now do we're going to do some cleaning so close this file so say don't save because we're not going to save it so i'm going to remove this transformers because i'm not going to use it obviously i don't need them so i'm going to use this uh, because i'm not going to use microsoft dialog gpt medium and I'm also going to re remove this function, that big function that I use over here, get chat response. So for now, your uh, code should look like this. So, so we have Flask, we're importing Flask and we're importing OpenAI. Then we are, have our OpenAI key. So now, obviously, uh, we're not going to uh, pass in like string messages obviously we're not going to come in the file and change our response to send to the what we want we want to uh, send messages from our chatbot so we need to change this uh, thing we don't want this obviously so if you come over here we have our input as in we what we get from the user input is equal to message when we basically request this message in this file so i'm going to show you what where we get the message property so obviously if you see this property this property we get the message raw text text or well using the javascript form over here that we have the message and we're giving it a name of msg and we're using this over here as an in our input so what i'm going to do is delete this because we don't need this and i'm gonna copy this part and remove it and basically put it over here and do copy input and i'm going to remove this with input so we're giving our own input and obviously you can change your own things that you want over here you are a helpful assistant or anything you want you saying like a marvel based jarvis personal assistant give give your chatbot any role like a uh like a monster or like a <laughs> like a thanos or like anything that you want like anything that you're prefer you can give it a role or like you're a music artist or anything that you want so once we're done over here obviously we don't have this function anymore so what we are going to do is we're going to re replace it with this function get chat response and once we're done over here obviously we're turning it we're going to remove this part so by now your function should look like this and copy this part and I'm just going to do a little bit cleaning and place it under this part. So what I wanted to show you is now once we have this is our we're populating or sending our messages. So we're so what it happens is it's giving the input to this chat bot chat messages and we're assigning a role and we're giving it the input and then we're getting the uh, like the response and then we'll post it back from here. So, and what the function does is 
it basically creates an OpenAI chat completion and it gives the model properties that we want to use and it passes the messages that message that we wanted, the role and the message input. And then we are giving it the max token, so 100 tokens that it can use for the response. And then it's going to re reply with the response of the chat GPT. And this will be returned over here where we are returning. So now what we want to do is save it and close this part. And basically now what we're going to do is run this in our terminal and see if it works. So let's open terminal terminal and let's say firstly what you want to do is you want to you want to install flask using pip install flask and also you want to do pip install open ai once you've done these things you are basically you've installed obviously i have installed them so i'm not going to install them so once you have installed these two commands then you're ready to run this uh, code so come here and basically I'm gonna change it, I'm gonna CD into the folder that I wanted and I'm gonna say python app.py and let's see if it runs or not. So currently it's running now. So what I'm gonna do is copy this command, uh, copy this URL and uh, open a new chatbot service and say hello. And it says, hello, how may I assist you today? I'm gonna say, I'm gonna ask it chat, what ChatGPT does, write a poem on, on a rainy day. Let's say what it does. So it says raindrops gently tap to the ground. So you can see it, basically gives you and I'll tell you what it also does it can do a quite complicated stuff like what chat GPT does so obviously it's chat GPT so you can say um, write a Python code a Python code which which asks for input and then prints it in the in the terminal, let's say. So it gives certainly here's a Python program. So it gives you the code. So obviously it's not like very well formatted, formatted. So and it it's basically what ChatGPT is. We basically replaced it over here with our own model. So I wanted to give you an overview of how it looks, obviously. So this is how it looks. So it's really easy to connect it to ChatGPT, and I'm also gonna show you what it, what how I did it. Obviously, this is the we have the Flask that we imported. So you basically need to import Flask and OpenAI. You need to download them in from pip. And now, once you have downloaded, so I'm gonna show you what happens is basically once we put the URL from the terminal, we get the template of chat.html, and then we basically when the user sends the message we get the message from the request.form and then we have the input property we're sending the input we're assigning a role to the chatbot sending the input and using the get openai response and using the get openai dash underscore response uh, function we get the response and we post it back using the post these are the http protocols we post it back to the chat.html and then when we get the function, we parse the uh, HTML and then we get the bot HTML that we got and we basically append it into the uh, HTML file and then you can see the message that got responded. So this is a really cool way to change it with your own model and that's how you can do it basically. So you can get your own input from here and assign it to your own model. And I hope if you have any questions, you can write it down in the comment section and I'll be happy to answer all of them and let me know if you have any problems of any there. And for the OpenAI key, basically use your own API key because uh, my, will, my API key will expire. So make sure you use your own API key. And if you have, uh, and if you like the video, please subscribe and I'll be putting on uh, many more videos like this. 
and please make sure to like it and subscribe oh that means a lot to me and thank you so much for tagging along i'll see you in the next video bye bye